Salerno Italian, Salerno, listen, Salernitano, Salierne, IPA, Salern is a city and commune in Campania southwestern Italy and is the capital of the province of the same name. It is located on the Gulf of Salerno on the Tyrrhenian Sea. The city is divided into three distinct zones, the medieval sector, the 19th century sector and the more densely populated post-war area, with its several apartment blocks. Salerno was an independent Lombard principality, Principality of Salerno, in the early Middle Ages. During this time, the Schola Medica Salernitana, the first medical school in the world, was founded. In the 16th century, under the Sanseverino family, among the most powerful feudal lords in southern Italy, the city became a great centre of learning, culture and the arts, and the family hired several of the greatest intellectuals of the time. Later, in 1694, the city was struck by several catastrophic earthquakes and plagues. After a period of Spanish rule which would last until the 18th century, Salerno became part of the Parthenopean Republic. In recent history, the city hosted Victor Emmanuel III, the King of Italy, who moved from Rome in 1943 after Italy negotiated a peace with the Allies in World War II, making Salerno the home of the Government of the South, Regno del Sud, and therefore provisional government seat for six months. Some of the Allied landings during Operation Avalanche the invasion of Italy occurred near Salerno. Today Salerno is an important cultural centre in Campania and Italy. A patron saint of Salerno is Saint Matthew, the Apostle, whose relics are kept here at the crypt of Salerno Cathedral. History Topic: Prehistory and Antiquity. The area of what is now Salerno has been continuously settled since prehistorical times, although the first certain signs of human presence date to the period between the 9th and 6th centuries BC. We know the Oscan Etruscan city of Irna, founded in the 6th century BC, situated across the Erno River in what is today the quarter of Frat. This settlement represented an important base for Etruscan trade with the Greek colonies of Posidonia and Elia. It was occupied by the Samnites around the 5th century BC as consequence of the Battle of Cumae 474 BC as part of the Syracusan sphere of influence. With the Roman advance in Campania, Irna began to lose its importance, being supplanted by the new Roman colony 197 BC of Salernum, developing around an initial castrum. The new city, which gradually lost its military function in favor of its role as a trade center, was connected to Rome by the Via Papilia, which ran towards Lucania and Reggio Calabria. Archaeological remains, although fragmentary, suggest the idea of a flourishing and lively city. Under the Emperor Diocletian, in the late 3rd century AD, Salernum became the administrative center of the Lucania and Brutti province. In the following century, during the Gothic Wars, the Goths were defeated by the Byzantines, and the Salerno briefly returned to the control of Constantinople from 553 to 568, before the Lombards invaded almost the whole peninsula. Like many coastal cities of southern Italy Gita, Sorrento, Amalfi, Salerno initially remained untouched by the newcomers, falling only in 646. It subsequently became part of the Duchy of Benevento. Middle Ages to Early Modern Age Under the Lombard Dukes Salerno enjoyed the most splendid period of its history. In 774 Arecis II of Benevento transferred the seat of the Duchy of Benevento to Salerno, in order to elude Charlemagne's offensive and to secure for himself the control of a strategic area, the centre of coastal and internal communications in Campania. With Arecis II, Salerno became a center of studies with its famous medical school. The Lombard prince ordered the city to be fortified. The castle on the Bonatis mountain had already been built with walls and towers. In 839, Salerno declared independence from Benevento, becoming the capital of a flourishing principality stretching out to Capua, northern Calabria, and Apulia up to Taranto. Around the year 1000 Prince Guimar IV annexed Amalfi, Sorrento, Gita and the whole Duchy of Apulia and Calabria, starting to conceive a future unification of the whole southern Italy under Salerno's arms. The coins minted in the city circulated in all the Mediterranean, with the opulent Salernum wording to certify its richness. 
However, the stability of the Principate was continually shaken by the Saracen attacks and, most of all, by internal struggles. In 1056, one of the numerous plots led to the fall of Guimar. His weaker son Gisulf II succeeded him, but the decline of the Principality had begun. In 1077 Salerno reached its zenith but soon lost all its territory to the Normans. On 13 December 1076, the Norman conqueror Robert Giscard, who had married Guimar IV's daughter Sicilgata, besieged Salerno and defeated his brother-in-law Gisulf. In this period the royal palace of Castel Terracina and the cathedral were built, and science was boosted as the Shola Medica Salernitana, considered the most ancient medical institution of European West, reached its maximum splendor. At this time in the late 11th century, the city was home to 50,000 people. Salerno played a conspicuous part in the fall of the Norman Kingdom. After the Emperor Henry VI's invasion on behalf of his wife, Constance, the heiress to the kingdom, in 1191, Salerno surrendered and promised loyalty on the mere news of an incoming army. This so disgusted the Archbishop, Niccolo Diello, that he abandoned the city and fled to Naples, which held out in a siege. In 1194, the situation reversed itself, Naples capitulated, along with most other cities of the Mezzogiorno, and only Salerno resisted. It was sacked and pillaged, much reducing its importance and prosperity. Henry had his reasons, though. He had entrusted Constance to the citizens and after his retreat from invasion in 1191 they had received letters about the events from Niccolo and betrayed Henry, attacked Constance at Castel Terracina and handed her over to King Tancredi of Sicily, making the Empress captive for nearly one year. Her combined treachery and stubbornness cost Salerno much after the Hohenstaufen conquest. Henry's son, Frederick II, moreover, issued a series of edicts that reduced Salerno's role in favor of Naples in particular, the foundation of the University of Naples in that city. From the 14th century onwards, most of the Salerno province became the territory of the princes of San Severino, powerful feudal lords who acted as real owners of the region. They accumulated an enormous political and administrative power and attracted artists and men of letters in their own princely palace. In the 15th century the city was the scene of battles between the Angevin and the Aragonese royal houses with whom the local lords took sides alternatingly. In the first decades of the 16th century, the last descendant of the San Severino princes, Ferdinando San Severino, was in conflict with the viceroy of the King of Spain, mainly because of his opposition to the Inquisition, causing the ruin of the whole family and the beginning of a long period of decadence for the city. A slow renewal of the city occurred in the 18th century with the end of the Spanish Dominion and the construction of many refined houses and churches characterizing the main streets of the historical center. In 1799 Salerno was incorporated into the Parthenopean Republic. During the Napoleonic era, first Joseph Bonaparte and then Joachim Murat ascended the Neapolitan throne. The latter decreed the closing of the Shola Medica Salernitana, that had been declining for decades to the level of a theoretical school. In the same period even the religious orders were suppressed and numerous ecclesiastical properties were confiscated. The city expanded beyond the ancient walls and sea connections were potentiated as they represented an important road network that crossed the town connecting the eastern plain with the area leading to Vietri and Naples. <laughs> Late modern and contemporary Salerno was an active centre of Carbonari activities supporting the unification of Italy in the 19th century. The majority of the population of Salerno supported ideas of the Risorgimento, and in 1861 many of them joined Garibaldi in his struggle for unification. After the unification of Italy, a slow urban development continued, many suburban areas were enlarged, and large public and private buildings were created. The city went on developing until World War II. Its population rose from 20,000 people around 1861's unification to 80,000 in the early 20th century. During the 19th century, foreign industries started settling in Salerno. In 1830, a first textile mill was established by the Swiss entrepreneur Zublin von Willer, followed by Schlepfer Wenner's textile mills and dye factories. The Wenner family settled permanently in Salerno. In 1877 the city was the site of as many as 21 textile mills employing around 10,000 workers in comparison with the 4,000 employed in Turin's textile industry. Salerno was sometimes referred to as the Manchester of the two Sicilies. 
In September 1943, during World War II, Salerno was the scene of Operation Avalanche, the invasion of Italy launched by the Allies of World War II, and suffered a great deal of damage. From 12 February to 17 July 1944, it hosted the government of Marshal Pietro Badoglio. In those months Salerno was the provisional government seat of the Kingdom of Italy, and the King Vittori Emanuele III lived in a mansion in its outskirts. After the war the population of the city doubled in a few years, going from 80,000 in 1946 to nearly 160,000 in 1976. Geography The city is situated at the northwestern end of the plain of the Sel Ar River, at the exact beginning of the Amalfi Coast. The small river Erno crosses through the central section of Salerno. The highest point is Monte Stella, with its 953 meters (3,127 feet). Topic: <laughs> Climate. Salerno has a Mediterranean climate, with a hot and relatively dry summer 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit in August and a rainy fall and winter 8 degrees Celsius 46 degrees Fahrenheit in January. Usually there is nearly 1,000 mm of rain every year. The strong wind that comes from the mountains toward the Gulf of Salerno makes the city very windy mainly in winter. However, this gives Salerno the advantage of being one of the sunniest towns in Italy. Demographics In 2007, there were 140,580 people residing in Salerno, located in the province of Salerno, Campania, of whom 46.7% were male and 53.3% were female. Minors children ages 18 and younger totaled 19.61% of the population compared to pensioners who number 21.86%. This compares with the Italian average of 18.06% and 19.94% The average age of Salerno residents is 42 compared to the Italian average of 42. In the five years between 2002 and 2007, the population of Salerno grew by 2.02%, while Italy as a whole grew by 3.85%. The current birth rate of Salerno is 7.77 births per 1,000 inhabitants compared to the Italian average of 9.45 births. As of 31 December 2010, there were 4,355 foreigners in Salerno. The largest immigrant group came from other European countries mainly Ukraine and Romania. The population is overwhelmingly Roman Catholic. Topic. Economy The economy of Salerno is mainly based on services and tourism, as most of the city's manufacturing base did not survive the economic crisis of the 1970s. The remaining ones are connected to pottery and food production and treatment. The port of Salerno is one of the most active of the Tyrrhenian Sea. It handles about 10 million tons of cargo per year, 60% of which is made up by containers. Transport Salerno is connected to the A2, Autostrada A3 and Autostrada A30 motorways. Salerno station is the main railway station of the city. It is connected to the high-speed railway network via the Milan-Salerno corridor. The main bus stop of Salerno is also at the train station, with both CSTP buses and CETA buses. A metro light rail line connects the train station with Stadio Arecci with seven intermediate stops. A new maritime terminal station was completed in 2016 and will be open for the 2017 cruise season. Salerno features three marinas Manfredi Pier, Masuccio Salernitano, and Marina di Arecci. Newly opened in 2015, Salerno Airport is located in the neighboring towns of Pontacognano Faiano and Belize. Topic. Education Salerno hosted the oldest medical school in the world, the Shola Medica Salernitana, the most important source of medical knowledge in Europe in the early Middle Ages. 
It was closed in 1811 by Joachim Murat. In 1944 King Vittorio Emanuele III established Istituto Universitario di Magistero Giovanni Cuomo. In 1968 the university became state-controlled. Today University of Salerno is located in the neighboring town of Fisciano and has about 34,000 students and 10 faculties, arts and philosophy, economics, education, engineering, foreign language and literature, law, mathematics, physics and natural sciences, medicine, pharmacy and political science. Sport The city's main football team is U.S. Salernitana 1919, that plays in Serie B the second highest football division in Italy. Their home stadium is Stadio Arecci, opened in 1990 and with a capacity of 37,245. The most successful team in the city is the women's handball team PDO Handball Team Salerno, with its four national titles, four national cups, and two national supercups. Other noteworthy teams are Arecci in rugby and Rari Nant Salerno in water polo. The city has also a good tradition in motorsport. <laughs> Attractions Salerno is located at the geographical center of a triangle nicknamed Tourist Triangle of the 3P namely a triangle with the corners in Pompeii, Pestum and Positano. This peculiarity gives Salerno special tourist characteristics that are increased by the many local points of tourist interest like the Lungomari Trieste Trieste Seafront Promenade, the Castello di Arecci Arecius's Castle, the Duomo Cathedral and the Museo Didattico della Scuola Medica Salernitana Educational Museum of the Salernitan Medical School. <laughs> Secular sites Lungomari Trieste, Trieste Seafront Promenade. This promenade was created from the sea during the 1950s and it is one of the best in Italy, at the level and imitation of those in the French Riviera. It has an extension of nearly 5 miles kilometers with many rare palms. Castello di Arecci, Arecius's Castle is a large castle commanding the city from a 300 meters feet hill. It was enlarged by Arecci's II over a pre-existing Roman Byzantine construction. Today it houses rooms for exhibitions and congresses. The castle offers views of the city and the Gulf of Salerno. Centro Storico di Salerno. The historical downtown of Salerno is believed to be one of the best maintained in the Italian peninsula. Its Via dei Mercanti Merchant Street is even today one of the main shopping streets in the city. The Duomo is its center. Giardino della Minerva Minerva's Garden, is situated in the fringes of the castle hill that dominates the old Salerno. In it can be found the medieval Hortus Sanitatis health garden of the Shola Medica Salernitana, that was the first European Orto Botanico botanical garden. Parco del Mercatello, the Park of Mercatello Little Market, is situated in the eastern section of the city. It was made in 1998 and with its about 20 acres is one of the biggest in Italy. Forte La Carnali. The La Carnali Castle got his name from a medieval battle against the Arabs and is part of a sport complex with pool, tennis courts and hockey. Actually it is used as a cultural center for expositions and meetings. Villa Comunale di Salerno Municipal Park of Salerno the Garden of the Old City Hall is actually a huge recreation area in front the Salerno Theater the Teatro Verdi, with a fountain called Don Tullio, done in 1790. Col Ballara, Ballara Hill, a hill from which it is possible to see the Amalfi Coast up to the Salento. Teatro Verdi. The Salerno Theater, Teatro Verdi, was done in 1872 and is decorated with paintings of Gaetano D'Agostino. The theater was heavily damaged during the 1980 earthquake and rebuilt in 1994, during the celebrations for the 50 years of Salerno Capital of Italy. Palazzo di Città di Salerno, Town Hall of Salerno. It was constructed in 1936 in typical fascist style. Its main saloon, the Marmol Saloon, 
was the meeting room for the first government of the Kingdom of Italy after the fall of fascism in 1943. Palazzo Genovese, in Baroque style of the 17th century, was rebuilt by the architect Ferdinando Sanfelice. Palazzo Pinto. It is situated in the middle of the Via dei Mercanti Merchant Street and has the Pinacoteca Provincial Provincial Pinacotheca. Palazzo di Ruggiero. Noble building done in the 16th century, situated near the cathedral. Castel Terracina, Terracina Castle, built by Robert Gascard in 1076-1086 as a royal mansion, next to the eastern walls. Only scarce remains mainly tower houses in tuff can be seen today, as it was destroyed by an earthquake in 1275. Palazzo Frascioni. Medieval palace erected in the 12th century. It includes walls of the Arecci's II royal mansion. Palazzo Capeta. It is situated in the Lombard section of the city. It hosted the last lessons of the Shola Medica Salernitana during Napoleon times. Palazzo di Vosa. Noble palace rebuilt in the 17th century by the architect Ferdinando Sanfelice. It has frescoes inspired by Torquato Tasso's Gerusalemme Liberata. Palazzo Ruggi d'Aragona. Palace built in the 15th century near the Via dei Mercanti, Merchant Street. Palazzo Maris. Built in the 14th century and later renovated in Baroque style, facing the cathedral. <laughs> Churches The Cathedral of Salerno is the main tourist attraction of the city. In its crypt is the tomb of one of the Twelve Apostles of Christ, Saint Matthew the Evangelist. Chiesa della S.S. Annunziata 14th century located near the northern entrance of medieval Salerno called Porticatina. It has a bell tower done by the architect Ferdinando Sanfelice. Chiesa di San Gregorio. The church was built in the 10th century near the Via dei Mercanti, Merchant Street. A document states its existence in 1058. Actually is the home of the Museo Didattico della Scuola Medica Salernitana. Museum of the Salerno Medical School. Chiesa di San Giorgio. The Church of St. George is a Baroque church in Salerno which has paintings of Andrea Sabatini and high-quality frescoes by Francesco and Angelo Solomina late 17th century. It is related to one of the most ancient monasteries of the city, dating back to the early 9th century, which remains of apse frescoes in have been recently brought to light. Chiesa di San Pietro in Vinculus. It is located on the Piazza Porta Nova, Porta Nova Square, and has Renaissance paintings. Chiesa di San Benedetto. The Saint Benedict Church was originally part of a monastery from 7th-9th centuries, connected to a massive aqueduct whose remains are still visible today. After the Arabs' destruction in 884, it was rebuilt by Abbot Angelarius with a nave and two aisles. Remains of an entrance quadriporticus can still be seen. Chiesa di Sant'Agostino. The church is renowned for the Madonna di Costantinopoli, Our Lady of Constantinople, inside. Chiesa del SS. Crocifisso. The church located in the Via dei Mercanti, Merchant Street, has a crypta of the 10th century. Chiesa di San Pietro a Corte. A Lombard church from the 10th century, it was part of Arecci's II's royal mansion with the name Capella Palatina. Chiesa dell'Annunziatella. The church is located near the Old Roman Forum and has a 16th-century fountain near the entrance. Monuments Faro della Giustizia Justice Lighthouse. Monument of the Judiciary Citadel of Salerno, near the Col Ballara. Monumento al Marinaio Monument to the Sailor, situated in Concordia Square, in front of the Masuccio Salernitano, tourist port. Topic: Museums and galleries. Museo Archeologico Provincial, Provincial Archaeological Museum. The museum is located inside the old San Benedetto Monastery and is internationally renowned for its Testa di Apollo, Head of Apollo. Museo Didattico della Scuola Medica Salernitana Educational Museum of the Salernitan Medical School. 
Located inside the Lombard Church of San Gregorio. The museum has noteworthy documents from the Shola Medica Salernitana. Museo Diocesano di Salerno, Salerno Museum of the Diocese. It is located near the Salerno Cathedral and has many precious objects of religious art. Pinacoteca Provincial, Provincial Pinacotheca. Located inside the Palazzo Pinto, in the Via dei Mercanti, Merchant Street. It has many Renaissance paintings like those of Andrea Sabatini, who worked in the Sistine Chapel. Archaeological sites Area Archaeologica Etrusco Sanitica di Frat. The archaeological site of the Etruscans and Samnites in Frat is the most southern in Italy and is located in the eastern outskirts of Salerno. It has a huge necropolis. Notable people from Salerno Gino Fenizia born 1941 designer and architect topic <laughs> twin towns sister cities Salerno is twinned with topic <laughs> see also list of princes of Salerno Principality of Salerno Shola Medica Salernitana Salerno Ivories Salerno Railway Station University of Salerno U.S. Salernitana 1919 Operation Avalanche Salerno Cathedral <laughs>